A crush of ballots. I'm Adrian Pedersen today on Upfront. The pandemic has millions of people choosing to vote absentee. Next on Upfront, how clerks will handle the load and what would help them out. Then Republicans take their turn in prime time. What we can expect to see at the Republican National Convention. And Bernie Sanders appealed to his supporters. Are they ready to back Joe Biden? Taking on the issues important to Wisconsin. This is Upfront with your host, Adrian Pedersen. Thank you for joining us. We begin today with the uproar over disruptions in the U.S. Postal Service and what it could mean for the surge of mail and absentee ballots this fall. President Trump's pick to head the Postal Service now says he'll halt some of the changes that are disrupting mail delivery operations nationwide until after the election. Critics say those changes have led to widespread delays, and they've warned of disruptions in the delivery of ballots for the November election. Wisconsin's two U.S. senators disagree on the severity of the situation. Republican Ron Johnson says it's being blown out of proportion. His Senate Homeland Security Committee held a hearing Friday with Postmaster General Louis DeJoy. I want to assure this committee and the American public that the Postal Service is fully capable and committed to delivering the nation's election mail securely and on time. I, I am in no way, shape or form denying that uh, many of these complaints are absolutely genuine and, and we take these seriously and help our constituents, but there's also no doubt that uh, a lot of this is, is being ginned up. Uh, many of those complaints are highly scripted and uh, it's being done for p political purpose. But Democrat Tammy Baldwin told me she's hearing of serious problems with mail delays. When I spoke with a constituent uh, who has uh, a monthly prescription uh, that was delayed. Uh, this is a medication that he needs to take on a daily basis. It is a life-saving medication. And when I hear that story repeated all across the state of Wisconsin, that is not blowing anything out of proportion. That is a big deal. Wisconsin has joined a lawsuit against the Postal Service, and the House Oversight Committee also will hold a special hearing on this tomorrow. Even before the troubles at the post office made headlines, Wisconsin's municipal clerks were concerned about handling the massive number of absentee ballots expected this fall. And we're talking about this now with Diane Conan, Oconomowoc clerk and the president of the Wisconsin Municipal Clerks Association. Diane, we appreciate your time and your perspective on this issue. So again, the Postmaster General will go before the House tomorrow how concerned are you with everything you're hearing about what's happening at the post office right now? The municipal clerks, as well as myself, we are concerned. There were some problems in the April presidential preference uh, election. However, the Wisconsin Elections Commission, as well as municipal clerks, work with their local post offices. And again, the Wisconsin Elections Commission works is working with the post office. So we, although there are concerns, I think everyone has learned something from the April election. Everyone was not fully prepared to be uh, hit with the number of mail and absentee ballots that we had to deal with. So um, I think there are gonna be um, procedures that'll be put in place. I'm sure that they were already put in place for the August election and they'll follow suit with those through November. I, I know I have confidence in my local post office in the city of Oconomowoc. We work very well with them and most municipal clerks work with their post offices. And what are some changes you will be implementing for November? What are some examples? The, at the local level, the municipal level, right. the changes that we're looking at is since we, since many voters, when they voted in April absentee, they requested the ballot for the entire year. This helps us prepare. We can get envelopes prepared in advance. We can get our lists prepared in advance. We can enter things into the statewide voter system in advance. So that is all very helpful to help us prepare. We also have um, ordered more stock when it comes to envelopes for mailing. Uh, we've put more stamps on our postage meter so we don't run out uh, and have to then go get stamps from the post office. So our, those are the things that when we were hit in April due to the coronavirus mainly for that absentee request, we've been able to look ahead and prepare 
a little bit better when it comes to mailing out the absentee ballots. And with these delays and changes that we've heard happening with the Postal Service, how do those things affect you, if at all, at the local level? Well, the uh, delays in the Postal Service affects us because voters will call us, they will email us, they will stop in at the office. And this is all the while we're trying to do our daily workload, but mainly do our election workload. And so those are interruptions that affect us and our ability to continue to get the, our work done. When we get an absentee request, we are to turn that around in 24 hours. And when you get 100, 200, 300, 400 a day, that's a, a very difficult task for the staffing at any municipal office. And I know that you are in favor of starting to be able to count and process absentee ballots early because as it stands now, you have to wait until election day. What's your progress in that fight? The bill made it to the Senate this year, uh, SB 193 was the bill, but they did not take any action on it. So for the remainder of the year, unless they have a special session, that bill will go nowhere in 2020. Um, and that's really the year we needed that bill the most because anytime you have your presidential election and even your governor election, there are more voters that turn out as opposed to your local elections that happen in the spring. So state and federal elections in the fall are really the time that so many more voters come out to vote. And so this would have been the year that that bill would have helped us tremendously. And Diane, just to sort of wrap this up, we've been hearing these horror stories about different mailboxes closing, having these boxes of mail just sitting there with ballots in them. Going into November, I mean, what's your anxiety level over this? How confident are you that our mail-in votes will be safe? I cannot speak for the mail-in ballots that get to the post office. I, I don't know their processes, and I don't know what processes they are now going to put in place. I do know that the relationship that I have with my local post office is very good. They call me to come in and pick up ballots at the end of the day. I was able to go twice to my local post office after they delivered the daily mail twice I was able to go there to pick up more absentee ballots. So I have every confidence that they have their, um, their eyes on the lookout for that envelope and that they're making sure that they get those delivered or that they call me, the municipal clerk in the city of Oconomowoc, to come and pick them up. I don't know if that relationship is the same for every single municipal clerk in the state of Wisconsin, but I do know many of them, very, a lot of them, have a relationship with their local post office. I do know that the post office does not want to look bad because they work very hard as well to get everyone their mail, whether it's election mail or not, every day. And so I, I really believe that they are going to step up their procedures and processes and make sure that the ballots get delivered. Well, Diane, I know you have a lot of work ahead of you. Good luck and thank you for breaking this down so we can understand more of how it works at the local level. You're very welcome. I appreciate the opportunity to answer some questions. Great, thank you. Well, you won't see Kanye West's name on the ballot this fall. The Wisconsin Elections Commission denied West's attempt to get his name on the presidential ballot. The commission said his team filed the nomination petitions too late. Coming up, one convention over, another just beginning. We'll look ahead to the Republican National Convention. Plus, Democrat Joe Biden makes an appeal to Republicans to vote for him. Is that likely to be successful? 